with something. Hey, Sebastian, can you squeeze in there and wake her up? We shall see. Wake up, old woman. Make a cuckoo noise. No, it's undignified. Do it. <sighs> cuckoo, cuckoo. Good morning. Welcome to Lady Chang's Antique Emporium. Some fruity old liqueurs and spirits. One of them's called Mama Fish Cakes non specific. Mama Fish Cakes non specific. I'll take this, please. Good choice. Mama Fish Cakes non specific. It's almost opaque. They say flicker by reel on them. Nah, they all look the same to me. There's a thing on the counter here. It says flicker by light box. It seems to be missing something. There's a big slot in the top, like a toaster. The only kind of antiques that know how old they are. Hmm, I'm not just going to carry... The only kind of antiques that know how old they are. Hmm, yeah, philosophy and piracy me. I'm not just going to carry clocks from place to place. Dusty old ceramics from all over the world. They'd only get broken. A red paper lantern. I don't need a lantern. Ah, Russian dolls. Very popular with the Chinese, apparently. No, playing with dolls will have to wait until later. Burnt toast incense. Sounds horrible. Not for me. A cuckoo clock, sans cuckoo. I don't want a broken cuckoo clock. Cute little wicker baskets. Nah, if I run out of space in my pockets, I'll just make Sebastian carry stuff. What? She's the shopkeeper. Hello. Welcome, valued customer. Please take a look round. Nice shop you have here. Thank you, my dear. If you like anything, I'll give you a special price. Looks like your cuckoo escaped. He was probably hypnotised, like all the birds on Vogel Island. Uh, what? My nemesis, Baron Widebeard. He's hypnotised a load of birds. Nemesis? Yeah, I hate that guy. You want to harpoon him? I've got a harpoon. Very good condition. Um, no. Better not. Bye. Take your time. Look around. Mama fish cakes non specific. It's almost opaque. Heaps of crockery. And never was a crockery better crocked. They don't look like they're red very often. I'd better not. Artisan and tidiness adds a dash of the bohemian. No, that's not right. Heaps of crockery. And never... I don't think that will work. 
heaps of crockery. And never was a crockery better cro- Knickknacks, bric-a-brac, curios and objet d'art. Probably worth less than a fiver the whole lot. They don't look like they're red very often. I can't do that. It's an old station clock. It ain't working and I'm not going to fix it. Knickknacks, bric-a-brac, curios and objet d'art. Probably worth less than a fiver. Nah, it's all useless ornaments. A bay window looking out onto the cops behind the tea shop. I'm prepared to throw myself out the window if need be, but I'll... I'm prepared to throw myself out the window if need be, but I'll probably just use the door for now. Ah, the sunken, hooded eyes of the intellectual. Ahoy, I'm Nelly. Welcome, welcome, bienvenue. Why are you talking like a hotel? Words, my dear. For me, Dr. Periwig, words are a passion. What's so great about words? I delight in them. In interlocution, in quill and ink, in etymological lineages as old as the skies. I catch words as they flutter from the lips and I pin them like butterflies. So you're... A writing a dictionary, yes. Jeez, you made it sound like it was interesting. I'm off. She looks smart. I'm Nelly. What's your name? I'm Professor Morgan. What brings you here, Nelly? I'm trying to make a name for myself as a buccaneer. In a tea shop? I might need some caffeine. As it happens, I know a thing or two about pirates. What do you know about pirates? Almost everything. I'm the senior lecturer in piratical studies at West Ham University. Wow! In fact, I'm compiling the Encyclopedia Piratanica. The Encyclopedia Piratanica? Will you put me in it? I'm an excellent pirate. What's your name? Nellie Cootalot. The pirate who plundered an entire shipment of baked beans? No, that's Nellie Toot. Never mind, I'm really famous. I'm sorry, I can't put you in the book. Why can't you put me in the encyclopedia? I really need to impress Justice Grote with what a mint pirate I am. I couldn't if I wanted to. The first volume, R to Cutlass, has been stolen. Stolen? Have you reported it? I tried to, but someone took my appointment with Justice Grote. Oh, right. Who stole the encyclopedia? I don't know, but that fatuous ninny at the window knows something. Yes, he does. But he won't tell, the bloated pufferfish. Not a squeak. Listen, if I get your book back, will you put me in it? If you get that smug sophist to help you, you'll deserve it. Have you ever heard of Bloodbeard? William? Yes, I used to know him quite well. Wow, I bet he was amazing. Was he amazing? Well... How amazing? Let's talk about something else, okay? Um, okay. What do you think of this place? Well, the coffee tastes like milky ash, the patrons are vacuous posers, and you have to hawk your gold teeth just to buy a gluten-free biscotti. Pretty average, then. What's up between you and that guy? Beating a lexicographer at Scrabble is not a good idea. He's never forgiven me. How childish. And my victory dance didn't even last that long. Enjoy your coffee. Take care. Ahem. Ahem. Oi! Yeah, what do you want? What kind of drinks do you do? Cinnamon cappuccino, slimline cocoa shots, sober joe, hemp tea with antioxidants, or minty double italiano sea salt frappes. What about a glass of water? I don't know what you mean. I'm interested in one of your drinks. What's a cinnamon cappuccino? It's basically tepid goat milk. You want one? Yep. Thanks. 
I'm interested in one of your drinks. What's a slimline cocoa shot? It's a super healthy cocoa concentrate, without all the fattening sugar that makes the taste bearable. You want one? Yep. Thanks. I'm interested in one of your drinks. What's a sober joe? It's the ultimate hangover cure. Don't drink it if you're planning to operate heavy machinery or sleep any time this month. You want one? Yep. Thanks. I'm interested in one of your drinks. What's hemp tea with antioxidants? Are you sick of having hemp tea ruined by oxidation? Well... Then hemp tea with antioxidants is the drink for you. You want one? Yep. Thanks. I'm interested in one of your drinks. What's a minty double Italiano sea salt frappe? It's exactly like a double Italiano sea salt frappe, but mintier. You want one? Yep. Thanks. What are you reading? Poetry. It must be good. It is. Who's the poet? Ugh, you probably haven't heard of him. Try me. William Willowick. Did he do the one about the cloud? No. I knew you wouldn't know who he is. So, who is William Willowick? He's basically the world's number one romantic poet. He's amazing. And he hasn't even seduced any of his relatives yet. Plus, he's totally dishy. Check out his picture in Swoon Some Dandies. Wow. Lock up his sisters. He's been my 100% favourite poet ever since I heard about him this weekend. Have you heard of Solomon Spry? No. Hmm, I guess he's too cutting-edge and hip for you. <laughs> what? Who is he? He's just this totally, you know, amazing folk singer, love idol prophet guy. He's just totally, you know, you know? Totally. You should be a fan of his. Wait a minute. I've never even heard him sing. And if he's so cool, how come he's never appeared in Swoon Some Dandies? You should hear Solomon Spry sing. Come on, let's go. I'm at work. So? So I'm busy working at my job. Not following. Leave me alone. You won't be so keen on your job once you hear Solomon Spry sing. Swoon some dandies. Swoon some dandies has pictures of all the hottest new stars. It sounds dreadful. It's the South Sea's only hourly fashion and culture magazine. The next edition should be here soon. As long as the bloody postman gets the address right this time. Is this no? Show starts at three o'clock. The sarcasm is not as low as. Do you want me to? <laughs> See ya. Whatever. Mama fish cakes, non-specific. It's almost opaque. Ugh. Bitterness in liquid. It smells sour. Whoa, you can smell the caffeine. I feel more alert just holding the cup. It has antioxidants, apparently. I wouldn't want to go rusty. It's a double Italiano sea salt frappe with mint. All right, Doc. What happened to Morgan's encyclopedia? Wouldn't you like to know? Obviously, yes. Well, you scratch my back, and I'll scratch yours. 
No way am I touching your back. It's a metaphor. What do you want in exchange for the encyclopedia? A little field research. But I don't know anything about little fields. Here is a list of odd words. Nautical obscurios, if you will. I think I know what they mean, but I need to be sure. Come back to me with the definitions and I'll spill the beans. Okay, and after that, will you tell me who stole the encyclopedia? Uh, yes. What's your problem with Professor Morgan? Simply that she is a pseudo-intellectual philistine. She says she beat you at Scrabble. She cheated. And I was sick from riding my velocipede. And actually, it never happened anyway. I might know what those words mean. Oh, yes. Then please tell me, what is the meaning of grockle silver? A slim silver knife. Next, please define hobshank. A coarse rag for scouring pans. And what does glossy mean? A toast given before battle at sea. Now, can you tell me what oak famble means? A thorny thicket. Finally, what does Sally Packet mean? A concealed reef. Your definitions don't match mine at all. I suggest a little more research. I'm off. seems to have arrived. Hey, this has been delivered to the wrong address. It's the tea shop girl's copy of Swoonsome Dandies. Swiped. Nancy's magazine, Swoonsome Dandies. Hey, check this out. Who's that? Oh, it's only Solomon Spry on the front cover of Swoonsome Dandies. OMG, he's dreamy. Oh, your G, he certainly is. But I have to hear his music to know if he has a poetic soul. Not superficial. Here, drink this sober joe. Come on, it'll perk you up. Oh, that stuff's diabolical. All right, what do you want? I'm investigating the Sanitania. The what? Captain Leah's old airship. That old hulk, why? Did you break your promise to Captain Lear? I... I suppose I did. So what happened? A lousy sneak in a suit happened. Van Zandt? Van Zandt. <laughs> what did Van Zandt do? He said he'd frame me for stealing Groot's pocket watch. Said I would hang if I didn't quit as harbour master. I knew he could do it too, and I was a coward. So you quit? I had promised Captain Lear he'd get an exit permit, but after I left, Van Zandt refused him. Van Zandt wants privateers, not pleasure cruisers. I see. Huh, I thought I'd forgotten all of that. What got you asking all these questions? What did Van Zandt do? He said he'd frame me for stealing Groot's pocket watch. Said I would hang if I didn't quit as harbour master. 
I knew he could do it. So you quit? I had prom, but after I Van Zan I see. Huh. I thought. What got you ass? I'm trying to help Leah recover his memory. I found this picture on his ship. That's not just a picture. It's a frame from a flicker by reel. Come again? A moving picture showing a launch. Except it never did launch. That was the day I quit. A flicker by reel, eh? I'm trying to help Leah. I found this. That's not. It's a frame. Come again? A moving pic. Except it never did love. Are you feeling all right? No worse than usual. But. Don't worry about me. Just give me some peace and quiet. I'm trying to help Leah recover his memory. I found this picture on his ship. That's not just a picture. It's a frame from a flicker by reel. Come again? A moving picture showing a launch. Except it never did launch. That was the day I quit. Goodbye! Keep it down, will ya? The red and black barrels smell sort of like oaky shame. The yellow barrel is half buried next to the brown. The brown and yellow barrels smell kind of like minty leather. Minty leather sounds like an Edwardian. I say, is that old minty leather? Minty! Fancy a spot of lawn tennis before Elevenses? That's it. All the barrels are correctly labelled now. Oh, stellar work, Nelly. Bless you. Bless you. The Dreadnought Coaster is all yours. Thanks. I think I've earned this, crappy beer mat. I'd better not. You should check your telescope. I just checked it. We're under siege by the Dreadnought. Raise the alarm, 
Lower the lifeboats. Everyone to battle stations. Relax, relax. I'll deal with all that. But I'll need that rapier. Yes, arm the women and children first. This golden rapier is perfect for the bird detector. Take it, and God speed you to safety. I feel a bit bad about fooling that old geezer, but on the other hand, shiny sword. Welcome to Fat's Junk Food. Hello. Greetings. I am the proprietor. Will you be dining with us today? What do you recommend? I like the look of the dim sum, but there better not be any ducks in there. The dim sum is excellent, reasonably priced and duck free. Perhaps later. That's a very nice copper gong. Oh yes, purely ornamental, but a very fine piece. Would you maybe give it to me? Aha, I live to please customers, but I'm afraid I could not be so generous. It has been in my family for generations. Please, can I have the gong? With the greatest respect, I prefer to tell you about our menu. Go on, just lend it to us. I told you, no! You've done it now, miss. What do you want? I'm leaving. Don't let the door smash you into pieces! What's the matter with the chef? Oh, he's just a little temperamental, but he is a whiz with a walk. So what's with the candle? That is a startled muskrat scent aromatherapy candle. Blur. It's not blur, it's one of the mystical I Ching candles. I Ching candles? Yes, a startled muskrat scent soothes and calms his rages. Hmm, I might get some for when the red mist descends on me. Oh, no, no. The effects vary from person to person based on star sign. Here, take this handy promotional chart. Where can I get other I Ching candles? Well, I normally get them from Bolson Nethers, the smuggler. Nethers? A smuggler? Yes, but he hasn't made his latest delivery. I wonder if something went wrong. Aren't you psychic? I sense that something went wrong. Bye. See you again. Ahoy! I hear you're a smuggler. Oh, I don't know if I'd say smuggler exactly. No, I merely help folk get hold of certain items what they desire. I smuggling. Well, through the medium of smuggling, yes. Can you get me some I Ching candles? Why, that's the very thing I come here with. I got orders to fill all over the island. Unfortunately, Van Zandt's got them. What? Yeah, he caught us coming ashore and impounded them all as contraband. Says I've got to pay customs duty to get them back. And me with my pockets empty as a temperance league social club. Outrageous. He's probably counted his gold as we speak. What if I get Van Zandt to release the candles? 
Well, then you can have anyone you wanted. But you won't find it easy. Van Zant, he only listens when money talks. I'll see what I can do. See you around. Aye, aye. Polished skull. Where are the f This is me. It's not a lamb. Yes, it is. And it's the word. No, it isn't. You wait to. I challenge you to the great game of the sea. Do you know how to play? Uh, no. I'm a busy man. Talk to Moses Melly, quartermaster. If you beat him, I might do you the honor of thrashing you. I hear you have Nethers' candle shipment. Yes. Customs duties apply to all imports containing essential oils, caffeine, alcohol, chocolate, licorice, books, human hair, spectacles, clothing, building materials, fabric, grain, anything yellow, clocks, cutlery. Or put it another way, whatever the hell I fancy. That smuggler has to pay customs duty if he wants the smelly candles. How much for the candles? Six gold dalders. What? That'd buy a year's supply. How terribly unfortunate. See ya. Hello? Multiplied by the denominator, carry the one. Hello? Ah, you made me lose a... Don't bother Scurvy Shaw. He's the deadliest pirate accountant on these isles. It would be irresponsible not to steal them. Three gold dolders. Hello again. For a value not exceeding 200 rubles. Hello? Ah, lost it again. Leave him alone. Six gold dolders. Here's your money. Now hand over the candles before I throw in a free shin kick. Business is business. Take the stinking things. I'd better give this package to Nethers. There are loads of candles in this package. I should hand it over to Gusty Nethers. I got your eye candles. Oh, you're a belter, Nelly. Do you mind if I keep one of them for personal use? Which scent would you like? Lotus Miasma, please. Ah, oh, sure thing. I've changed my mind. Can I swap candles? Oh, of course. Cinnamon fog, please. No problem.
There we go. A thousand welcomes to Fat's Junk Food. About that nice copper gong? Oh yes, yeah. purely ornamental but a pleasant piece. Would you maybe give it to me? Of course. Really? Certainly. I'm sure a young woman of your taste will find a better home for it. How generous of you. Thanks. I'm leaving. Safe journey. This gong is just what Rackham needs for the bird detector. This gold-plated rapier will be perfect for Rackham's bird detector. Here you go. Well, this is the perfect antenna. Good work. All we need now is some kind of copper dish. Here you go. Oh, a copper dish. Well done, Nelly. Excellent. That's everything I need to complete the bird detector. How long will it take to finish? Oh, not too long. I'll meet you in the harbour as soon as it's ready. Cool. I'm still working on getting a ship to mount it on. And I'm working on becoming a certified privateer. Before I was born, my father had a romantic fling with the pirate Susie Fireboots. That resulted in William Bloodbeard and a number of bawdy limericks. It's awful. A baron with a pirate half-brother. If the ladies at my club knew, it would mean scandal. Bloodbeard and I got along well before I realized he was a treacherous slug swine. But now, at long last, I have the upper hand on little Willie. Don't call him that. Sorry, my little ballista. Oh, this family tree business is horrid. Get to the treasure. Ah, yes. The treasure. I need your help with obscure pirate jargon. What do these words mean? Yeah, hold up, Nelly. My brain don't work like that. I can't just cast in and hook something out like a... like a... like a casty hook thing. I have to be in flow, telling a story like... Can you tell me a story using obscure pirate jargon? Can a top metal splice in a scissor wind? Back in the 70s, I was first mate sailing from the Barbary coast up to Peru. They had beaches littered with fool's gold and crockle silver, and rubes would come from all over to dig up that worthless junk. Our ship was a sally packet, still damp from the cheap cider that launched her. Go on. 
The captain was a queer cove. Men said he dabbled in black magic. Said his wooden leg was a hob shack made from witch's wood. Said he carried out forbidden rituals to make himself rich. Creepy. For a year or two we was happy, helping folks run their wild goose chase. But the captain grew darker by degrees, never leaving his cabin full of grimoires. And then what happened? Well, one night we was woken by a dread howling. A hellhound loose on the ship! Gasp! A black dog, wild eye and foaming maw. Someone had to shoot the beast. The lookout was the only sober man, but he couldn't fire a musket. He had oak fambles, having lost his hand in a lacrosse accident. So? So, it fell to me to shoot the creature, a black dog, in pitch black night. I found the musket balls and black powder, and I took my shots. Bang, bang, bang! I missed each one. Oh! I had no musket balls left. Then what? The old cook popped his glossy out of the socket and loaded it into the musket. Bang! And the dog fell dead. Poor thing! Poor devil! Cookie never took that glossy back. Called it the evil eye. We slung the hound overboard and searched for the captain. No sign in the cabin. No sign below deck. But I tell you one thing that's as true as my boots. Yes? That black dog had a wooden leg. Ooh. That's enough story for now. Okay. See ya. Ahoy! I might know what those words mean. Oh, yes. Then please tell me, what is the meaning of grockle silver? A mineral often mistaken for silver. Next, please define hobshank. A wooden leg under an enchantment or curse. And what does glossy mean? A pirate's glass eye. Now, can you tell me what oak fumble means? A wooden replacement for a lost hand. Finally, what does Sally Packet mean? A ship on its first voyage. Yes, your research confirms my own in every respect. Marvellous work. Now tell me where Morgan's encyclopedia is. Bien sûr. I saw the thief steal the book. Who was it? Male or female? I couldn't tell, but it was very hairy. Really? It made its getaway into called a copse. Where's that? It's just behind us. There's a narrow pathway hidden behind the tavern. You'll find it if you look. The ladder is rolled up. I can't. That tree contains some kind of house like structure. I shall call it a house tree. A rope ladder up to the tree house. The ladder is rolled up. I can't get to it from down here. with something. Oi, Sebastian! Yes, Nelly? See what you can do with that rope ladder. Yes, ma'am. Good work. Trilby, wait! Of course! My old friend Trilby the cat burglar is the thief. But what would a cat want with all this junk? It's a tin of Moggy's Bone Meal Delight. Now only 10% asbestos. I'm amazed the cat burglar was able to buy and open this meat-like food product all on its own. I'm not hungry. 
It's a picture of Justice Grote with a rusty knife in it. Can't see why the cat burglar would hate Grote so much. Or it's a picture of Justice Can't see why the cat or how he could be so good at knife throwing. It's a picture of just can't see or how I better not touch it. DNA evidence, etc. This priceless antique cat litter must be very valuable. On second thoughts, I think it's just normal cat litter. Hey, it's not my job to take it out. Some well ugly cup. I don't think that will work. This must be the stolen encyclopedia. This is the encyclopedia, all right. Now I just need Professor Morgan to put in a bit about how great I am. Looks like this thief stole everything. I can't do that. Look at all the glistening, glittering, golden treasures. I can't take the treasures. They belong to whoever stole them. Is that supposed to be Dan Brown? No, that's not right. Hmm, a handful of early Modigliani's and El Greco's. I bet they're worth a truckload of goats. I can't do that. Rosebud. Nah, it's too late to reclaim my youthful innocence now. I'm just gonna get fat and mess around with snow globes. Ah, the pianola. For people who like pianos, but not that much. I'd better not. your encyclopedia. Well done, Nelly. Thank you for restoring it to me. Nee bother. Now, if you could see your way clear to writing about how mint I am? Of course. Thanks. The Encyclopedia Piratanica. I better show it to Justice Gross. How goes the siege? Oh, I'm fending off cannibals left and right, but I think they're on the retreat. I'd better get rid of this for the sake of the old man. Will you teach me the great game of the sea? Depends. Are you willing to commit body and soul to an ancient and profound game? Yeah, defo. Very well. Let us play.
damn, a draw. <laughs> Not quite good enough to play Van Zandt. Let's play the great game of the sea. Very well. Let us play. A draw. <laughs> Not quite good enough to play Van Zandt. Let's play the great game of the sea. Very well. Let us play. A draw. <laughs> Not quite good enough to play Van Zandt. Amputation, the <clears throat> great game of the sea.
Well done, miss. You're not as dim as you look. Now I'm ready to play Van Zandt. Ho oh, ho! No one's ever beaten Van Zandt. Close the door. What? I said keep that door closed. There's a draft in here. I've beaten Melly at the Great Game of the Sea. Come on, game on. Very well. Prepare to be destroyed. I win. Shocking. Oh, man. There's something funny going on with Van Zandt's edition of Amputation. I need to get a closer look. Van Zandt's edition of Amputation. Leave that alone. I can't get at it while Van Zandt is looking. I said keep... Van Zandt's edition of... Hey, Moses Melly's edition didn't have that weird thing attached. What's this? I knew it! Van Zandt has rigged the game. Play again. I'm almost bored of defeating you.
Impossible. You must have cheated. No more than you. Ah. That's Harbormaster Van... what's his name? Hey, remember when I beat you at that game? What about it? Ah. Go away. See ya. I'll take it as a trophy. Van Zandt angrily smashed it when I beat him.